Today I wanted to go over some cardiovascular conditions, um, naming them and briefly defining them, and some issues related to them. So we'll begin at the top with uh, cardiogenic shock. Uh, this is a situation where the body is placing demands on the heart that the heart is unable to meet for various reasons. Uh, basically, uh, the body is demanding more blood, demanding uh, more from the heart, but um, due to electrical problems in the heart, conductive system failure, or heart muscle dysfunction, it's not able to meet those demands and it goes into cardiogenic shock. The next condition I want to look at is aortic insufficiency. In this case, what you have in the aorta is a valve that is not closing sufficiency, sufficiently, and as the blood flow comes through, you get backflow uh, back into the left ventricle. So uh, a heart valve disease that prevents the valve itself from closing completely and you get backflow of blood. Uh, next would be an aortic aneurysm. In this case, you have an expansion of the blood vessel wall, uh, often identified in the thoracic region. Uh, this aneurysm or this thin wall expands and causes problems. Uh, next would be hypovolemic shock. In this case, what you have is uh, the inability of the heart to pump enough blood to the body, uh, usually due to dehydration. So you have a lower volume of blood, the heart's unable to meet the body's needs. And next we have uh, myocarditis, endocarditis, and pericarditis. Uh, in this case, we have various inflammation problems, and the inflammation is usually due to viral, fungal, or bacterial issues in the heart. And myocarditis, you have an inflammation of the heart muscle itself. In endocarditis, you have an inflammation of the internal lining of the heart and, um, and probably um, the heart valves as well get inflamed. And then in pericarditis, what you have is an inflammation of the pericardium, the sac that surrounds the heart itself. Uh, other cardiovascular conditions we'll talk about briefly today are arrhythmia. In this case, you have rhythm problems with the heartbeat itself not uh, beating correctly, either too fast or too slow. And then fin finally, today, arteriosclerosis. I'll say that three times fast. Anyway, uh, we have a hardening of the artery walls. Uh, these are just a few of the various cardiovascular conditions and uh, their brief definitions.